Okay. So let me come up here and write algebraic expressions. Okay, 9x plus 3x, as you're going to see in a little bit, in a while. These are both called terms. And they're like terms because they both use an x to the one power. Remember, if you don't see a power, the power is 1. So this is 9 times x to the 1 plus 3 times x to the 1. That means, okay, 9x is actually 9x's all being added together. Do you want to get in my lap? Okay, that's going to be x plus 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 x. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine x's here plus 3x is going to be x plus x plus x. So this is 3x. So if I'm adding 9x to 3x, I'm going to have 9x's plus 3x's, that's 12x's. Nine X plus three X is twelve X. That's an algebraic expression. Ah, and then we have a problem like this. Fourteen R minus 3s minus 19r. Well, when you have a problem like this with so many minus signs, we need to at least mentally rewrite it a little bit. So this is 14r plus negative 3s plus Negative, oops, that's too far away. Plus negative 19R. That's a 19, believe it or not. Once I've added these, I can move them around. Because order doesn't matter when you're adding. Certainly does matter when you're subtracting. So I'm going to have 14R plus negative 19R plus negative 3S. I now have my two like terms together here. So all you have to do is, you could draw a little picture like this, which would make it a little difficult because 19 is bigger than 14, but you're taking away 19, or you could just get out your calculator, which is the easier way. 14 minus 19 R plus negative 3 S. <laughs> 14 minus 19 is negative 5 R plus 
negative 3s. All right, plus a negative is a negative. So, negative 5r minus 3s is your answer. What you would do is you would put 14 minus 19 in your calculator. You would come up with negative 5. And then the neg negative 3s, when you're adding a negative 3s, uh, that's just a minus 3s. Did you really have to add them? Well, no, as long as you keep in mind that really and truly there are invisible plus signs between these terms. Yet another truth, a hidden truth from algebra. Let's find one more really good one and then call it a day. How about two? This one and the next one. We can get those hammered out. Okay, here we go. Here's an algebraic expression. 19x plus 17y plus 8x plus 3y. The x terms are like terms. The y terms are like terms. So I can just as easily write it this way. 19x plus 8x plus 17y plus 3y. I'll add these plus I'll add these. And so over here, I know that 17 plus 3 is 20. That'll be 20y. What is this? 9 plus 8 is 7. Carry the 1. This is going to be, I believe, 27x plus 20y. Yeah. <laughs> and then, one more. Oh, okay. One more. This one. Negative parentheses d minus 14. That is really messy. I'm going to rewrite that. All right. D minus 14. There. When you, well, first, D minus 14 is an algebraic expression. And I know this because it has parentheses around it. So they're being grouped together, and both of those are being multiplied by a negative one. Now I'm going to take that negative one and I'm going to distribute it. Distribute to the positive D. In fact, I'll even put a plus sign here. It's not negative, so it's positive. Distribute that to a positive D and to a negative 14 because it's got a negative sign in front of it. Now, negative times positive is negative, so this is negative D. And negative 1 times negative 14 is positive 14. But we do have five more minutes. There now. This is a nice hard one, difficult one to um, stop with. Darn it. Okay, I'm just going to write it out. 
we've got 8D minus 5 minus parentheses 2 minus 5D. I can't do a thing with this until I get rid of the parentheses. And the way I get rid of the parentheses is I act like this negative sign is a negative one and I distribute it to the positive two and distribute it to the negative 5D. So 8D minus 5 minus 2 plus 5D. Now negative 5 minus 2, these are like terms, and 8D plus 5D, those are like terms. So 8D plus 5D minus 5 is really like plus negative 5, and minus 2 is really like plus negative 2. 8D plus 5D is the number of Ds that I would have if I added 8Ds. Well, yeah, if I added 8Ds and then added 5Ds, that would be 13D. And then if I have negative 5 and I add negative 2 to it, I will have negative 7. So my answer is 13 D minus 7. And we are done.